There are six main types of embezzlement. Let's take a look at those now. Siphoning. This is common in frontline workers in stores or restaurants. They devise a way of pocketing money from the register without creating discrepancies between recorded sales and the cash drawer. Check kiting. To do this, a criminal makes a series of deposits and withdrawals between several banks. By taking advantage of the float time between banks, the perpetrator gets an interest-free loan. A person that handles the bill-paying function at a corporation would be able to perpetrate this crime. Lapping. Embezzlement of this type is found in the area of the business responsible for incoming payments from customers or vendors. A customer working in this capacity could use bank deposits for several companies and change the allocation of the funds to cover up their own embezzlement of cash payments from certain customers. This accumulation of funds obtained while in a trusted position of fiduciary responsibility would qualify as a money laundering scheme. Payroll. Using the company payroll to illegally take money is another type of embezzlement. A corporation will often have a manager or an entire department involved in the calculation and completion of payroll duties. By adding friends or family that are not employed with the company to the payroll, they would be able to effectively steal from the company. Kickbacks Employees involved in purchasing activities in any organization could be prospective embezzlers through kickbacks. This scheme involves a vendor from whom the company purchases materials in the course of their business who agrees to give an employee money or gifts if they continue to buy a certain product or service from them. These situations often involve inflated prices, since the vendor is likely trying to profit personally as well. Overtime. Another way that people can commit embezzlement is through the falsification of overtime records. An hourly paid manager from the local branch office of the bank could do this. If they punched in their card at the beginning of their shift and then left at the end of their regular shift, say, eight hours later, without punching their card, then two hours later, pretending to have forgotten something, they come back and secretly punch out their card then. If the manager is continuing to do this over time, he is guilty of embezzlement by falsifying his overtime records. These examples of embezzlement make the relationship of an embezzler much more clear. They must be in a position of authority in the organization and responsible for the property that they are attempting to steal.